Uh, this is one of the projects I'm trying to finish up. This is my uh, PCB exposure box. Uh, I'm hoping this will work better than uh, using a light bulb on the photo resist uh, PCB etching method. Um, I've had the light board done for a while. It's 63 ultraviolet LEDs. Uh, there's three in each uh, little resistor array. Uh, they're each pulling about three and a quarter volt. Uh, that runs off a 12 volt line. They use about 30 milliamp a piece. Um, on camera they'll probably show up like a plasma purple. Uh, but to the naked eye they're uh, kind of a shade of blue, uh, bright white. Uh, but anyway, this is the, uh, I don't have the LCD in its uh, place yet, uh, power jack, i got to add a on off switch, and the buttons will be on a little panel LCD uh, on the front, um, along with the LEDs. And everything on the breadboard uh, is going to squeeze onto this Eagle CAD design uh, with the exception I gotta add the uh, the read relay I was dropping a volt uh, using a switching transistor and there was a big difference in testing between 11 and 12 volt on the LEDs so I opted to um, just switch directly to the 12 volt source which is here um, 18 volt input wall adapter to a 12 volt uh, regulator 7812 uh, this is basically here to power the rest of the system but mainly to provide power to the light board Mitzi. 5 volt regulator runs the logic and the uh, the nano or the winner nano uh, the display is to, to set a timer. I'm probably going to have to back out a bit. Normally it's too bright. But uh, I'll reset the CPU. <phone rings> Indicates that it's ready. It's asking me to hit the start, uh, start button to set the time. I've got this set up right here. Eventually it'll go to these nicer buttons. There's also a clear button that's not wired up. I just ran out of breadboard room. Uh, this will increment minutes. This will increment seconds. So I'll just put in one minute. I don't know if you can see that on the LCD or not. Anyway, one minute, three seconds. And it just adds it up, makes a timer and it'll count down from there and let you know when it's done. Uh, when I hit start, it'll start counting down, turn on the lights. Uh, but the idea is this fits, uh, I usually use the three by four inch photo resist boards. So for example, this is the CAD design for this light board. You can see uh, on a white background probably a little better. So anyway, if this was the design in interest, you'd put your design in, which fits perfectly. And then you would get a blank PCB. Of course, this one's already been etched. And I think I'm going to weight it down with uh, magnets. Um, I could put a tab that swivels across, kind of like a photo frame but this sits so nice and flush um, well we'll see I haven't decided on that yet so anyway you would set it up like so and hit start and just to let you see how bright this thing really is in the UV spectrum I'll leave the mask on and hit start and then I'll do it again with the mask off to compare the brightness I didn't think it was going to be bright enough until I saw it 
in its full spectrum and you can't see that with the naked eye. Start. Very, very, very bright. So, don't know what the exposure time is going to be yet. I'm going to have to play with that. But as you can see, it's very, <laughs> it's lighting the board up very nicely. And then when you're done, you do your etching, well, you're developing and you're etching chemicals. I'll just pull this mask away. But yeah, it's much brighter than I thought it was. It's just, you know, being ultraviolet wavelength, I wasn't able to really appreciate how bright it really was. And when it gets done in 15 seconds, there, you can see the text now. It'll turn off. So basically you can set your time, put your board in place, and walk away. That was the idea. And on top of that you're getting a nice evenly distributed light. Um, each one of those diodes has a uh, has an angle of 20 degrees on uh, the field of view of uh, the way it emits the light. So, you know, with that array, I've got good coverage. It's covering the entire board. Uh, next time you see this, hopefully, it's put together and exposed in a board. Thanks for watching.